So hello, welcome to my channel again. My name is Kat and today I have for you this beautiful antique bypass um, cuff bracelet and um, you can see that on each end there is a beautiful um, metal head of the ram and um, rams I suppose were quite popular uh, during the Victorian era and also during our deco era. Now uh, what is significant here about this bracelet? So first thing is that I think that the rams heads are kind of very nicely detailed you know and they look very realistic in my opinion I hope you can see it and they seem to be kind of made of two parts uh, glued together or um, sewed together um, using probably like that that will be probably some some kind of uh, old older soldering technique um, and they've been this part of the bracelet has been kind of pushed inwards um, they're very kind of close together and it's very tight but I've tried it on and I can actually pull it on I've got small wrist I have to say so this is definitely a small size uh, bracelet uh, but I can just pull it through and it sits very nicely as you can see now this part I think any of you who um, is familiar with pieces like this. I've never came across with pieces like this, so it is definitely something new. Um, I have had um, usually sterling silver uh, rams had bypass bracelets in the past, but this one is slightly different. This this one is um, hollow inside, so like I said, it's made of two parts you know being put together and um, it's a brass metal it's a uh, I think rose gold um, rose gilded uh, brass metal and now this part is kind of mysterious because uh, when I purchased this uh, this was uh, sold to me as a celluloid uh, it is a kind of plastic um, celluloid was a plastic um, used a lot in the first half of the 20th century. Now, um, because of these lines, I am not really sure whether this is celluloid. Uh, I mean, it could be um, to kind of imitate the bone, but it is more likely, from my perspective, this looks more like a bone. Um, it could be um, really well polished bone, you know, and uh, bone that, you know, was somehow uh, bent to this shape. Um, I'm sure that they definitely had technique how to work with bones because um, particularly during the Victorian era, there were um, lots of jewelry made of bone. So um, I'm really not sure they could be maybe even additionally uh, painted, colored to have this very bright yellow color. But I'm going to have to do a little bit more research about this, you know, because I'm not really sure whether this is real bone, um, whether it is celluloid and maybe it's uh, some other material, you know, kind of. Um, I mean, the, the weight of it kind of suggests bone okay because if it, if it was plastic it wouldn't be it wouldn't be this heavy it's 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 quite you know uh weighty so um i just my my guess this this is bone particularly with these kind of darker lines all around so i think that uh one of the reasons that um people sell things like that uh, celluloid is because they don't want to they don't want their listing they don't want their item to be deactivated whether by eBay or Etsy so you know that that's that's the whole 
kind of point uh, behind uh, people uh, kind of lying maybe hiding these things you know maybe they genuinely didn't know but um, from my point of view this looks more like a bone which uh, like I said in the past which makes um, pieces of jewelry like this almost unsellable online uh, but I am interested in these pieces anyway because um, you can use them you know for your personal collection you can just collect these beautiful items you know and you never know you might be able to sell them in the future um, uh, I really personally don't understand why these um, bone antique bone jewelry why, why is it uh, deactivated because like um, you know it's already it's already created it has been creating it's not nothing new you know so um, that doesn't really conflict with the environment or with other ethical issues but anyway uh, that's the world that we are living in and it's it's a shame but I suppose you know I could sell this item on my website so for any of you who is interested in pieces like this you can definitely ask for it and I can list it on my website you know where there are no restrictions so you can also pay through PayPal, that's not a problem. Um, so this this piece is just beautiful. Uh, in my opinion, uh, when I first saw it, I fell in love with it. And, you know, I really do think that this, this can, again, always, I think that in the future, I would like to kind of suggest a dress that that would definitely go in my opinion with uh, black lace dress you know to look um, to add um, a little bit of a mysterious look you know even almost kind of goth like uh, look or like I said just maybe black cocktail dress you know to a party um, it's it's beautiful piece and it's definitely wearable and uh, you know, having peace like this, it's in your um, possession. I think that you can use it for practical purposes and wear it. You know, you can even wear it for work. And I'm sure that people will definitely uh, positively comment on pieces like this. So this is one of those pieces that um, you can uh, wear even today and not, uh, not feel like, you know, it's... Um, it's kind of very old-fashioned, you know, I don't feel like it fits the the trends. I think that this is still a very trendy piece. And you might as well just uh, lie about the material. If you don't feel comfortable about this being uh, a bone, you can just say it's celluloid or plastic, you know, early plastic. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> but um, when it comes to, um, you know, my shops, and all the materials um, I always uh, try to describe things as um, best to the to the best of my um, knowledge and um, research so so far um, everything that I think about this item is um, definitely I, th I think it's it's bone and it's um, um, gilded a brass you know and um, it must have been worn by a very sophisticated lady that's why I can imagine so anyway if you have any comments on this piece if you have some knowledge about um, you know its origin uh, country of origin even though I uh, really do have feeling that this has been made in uh, Britain and this has been made in around um, my guess is really like the um, the beginning of 20th century you know even though it could be it could be easily art deco era but it could be even earlier piece so i hope you enjoyed this little presentation about this kind of mysterious uh, piece of jewelry you can hear me uh, with my next video which will come out very soon I have so many beautiful pieces that I would like to share with you 
and uh, I will just remind you, you know, if you are interested in any of these pieces, I can, um, you know, uh, send you a link um, and you can purchase them. You can even um, purchase them on installments, you know, so you don't have to pay straight away and I can reserve this item for you. So I hope you have a lovely day or week um, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.